there eVarp eVarp's fly workshop uh, today we are going to um, tie a fly which is called Bismo Bismo is actually a variation of uh, the Sunray shadow fly but uh, it's a you will see there it's a quite different than the Sunray uh, I'm using a mylar piping for this and uh, an inch long aluminum tube and this is like yeah, quite a challenge you have to get the mylar up on the tube and sometimes it can be difficult and you can imagine if I told you guys that I tied over 100 of those just last year because of high demand on this fly especially black and uh, blue colored so now the Miller, Miller piping is on the tube and the next step is to uh, get the tube needle in and attach it to the uh, tube, tube needle system and there we go and we'll trim off the mylar and next step is to secure the end and I use a white thread for it to uh, yeah, to get it to fold in with the body the next step is simply to do a finishing job on the end it's just to hold down the tube on this end of the fly or hold down the body material and uh, we'll do like a couple of uh, couple of uh, we're finishing and I recommend to actually put a super super glue on this and it's gonna be in place always the next step is to take out the tube loose up the tube and uh, wrap around for the head and you'll do just like this and you'll do like another uh, another finishing job over there and put that on and uh, in the wire after we do this we will simply yeah make the knot trim off the end and start with the black thread and in the while I loosened off the tube and cut off all the uh, existing mylar or, or the existing, existing material of the body so the tube is just like this and with the body material and the black thread so the next uh, step is the wing or the first part of the wing which is the uh, blue part and I'm using a blue temple dog for this one actually and, and then again I'm using uh, for the black part of the wing I'm using Kashmir coat but before we do the black part uh, it's need to take two strands of those uh, pearl uh, crystal tinsels and tie them on like this i just fold them around to the thread then you get like four strands of them in whole tune it in and just fasten that to the head of the tube and then comes the uh, goat the black goat or the black sheep of the family uh, we will trim off the end and just prepare it and then get that down to towards to where the uh, head of the fly is located and then we will start to form like the head of the fly and this fly is like yeah like you see it's quite a process and you have to prepare everything and it's yeah it's gonna take some time next step would be to uh, place those peacock curls over the wing just like the sunray shadow it's like built on that idea and you can tune that in get a few 
tight and secure wraps on it and then trim off the rest of the pico curl and then we'll be starting to build up the head of the fly which is going to be like the permanent head of the fly then we will simply do the whip finishing job on the head of the fly we'll do it a couple of times at least and get it secure there then you will trim off the uh, thread right here and the last step is to place varnish on the head and glue on some ice to the head of the fly and I'm using a UV glue for this job because I want to have a smooth surface for the ice to come on I found some yeah some parts of the thread there which I didn't see already we'll trim that off and carry on with the UV resin you have to place it all around all around the uh, head of the fly then sap it with our UV torch to get it like hard then the next step is yeah ice many variation of ice so the fly can see it's not only us that must see but for the bismol all the bismols are tied with uh, ice you can kind of pick the pickle color you like it can be white or, or yellow as i'm using or even even like a fluorescent yellow or a red it just depends on your uh, on your on your taste then we attach the eye like this you need to something sharp like a like a knife or, or a needle to pick off the eye of the plastic place it on the fly then get a tiny amount of the uv resin on the eye and a little bit around it so it like coats both sides that's the first round then we will sap that with our light securely And it's gonna, like I said, gonna take some time to build up the eye, eyes of the fly because uh, it may not uh, be successful in the first round or so. Then I dropped like quite a good drop on the eye, so it's like connected to the head. Then you'll we'll set that. Absolutely. And then the eye should be stuck. It should not be coming off so easily. Then we'll take our pencil and do the last, do the last uh, round. So we'll put it both under and over the eye and around it, and then sap it with our light. So that's the method of doing this, and uh, you have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna video that. It's exactly the same method and it's good to build up like a shell over the eye with the uh, uv resin uh, that way the eye is definitely gonna stay in place and it's gonna be without any troubles when you're fishing with the fly it's kind of yeah kind of important to build like a shell over the eye uh, i hope you guys learned something and liked uh, like the video you can subscribe to the channel if you like and uh, share the videos as much as you want until the next video, I will say thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.